What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. So today what we're gonna do is a long cut. We're gonna do it all dry. So I wanna talk to you guys about dry hair cutting, some of the myths, some of the different things that people think about dry hair cutting, the prep work that goes into dry hair cutting. Then at the end, we're gonna style this two different ways. We're gonna get this beautiful layered long haircut. So I hope you guys like it. Make sure you subscribe below. Also, in this video, you're gonna see me during the voiceover. So let me know what you think of that, if it helps explain things, because in this video, I wanted to explain things a little bit better because it's a more technical technique. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And again, hit that subscribe button and also like this video and share it with your friends. Here we go. All right guys, so the first thing I want you to notice is that we're working off of a center part. If your guest part's on the left or right hand side, you're gonna do the exact same thing I'm doing. Just make that shift of the parting because you want it, you want to be cutting where their part lives. So what I'm doing is I'm over directing the hair. I'm taking a diagonal forward parting off of their original part and going all the way to the hairline and over directing that to me. So I'm over directing it over top of the part. What that's doing is giving me that over direction that I'm looking for, which will help create a nice soft um, face frame and will push the weight away from my hand off to the side of the face. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the technique that we're using. We're not just cutting a face frame, we're using the stroking technique. So the key thing with this technique, we're gonna get into it more as we move along, but I want to kind of break it down for you guys. So what I'm doing is I'm opening the scissor and I'm closing it down on the hair. We're gonna do a slow motion view, we're gonna do an overhead view, so you'll be able to see uh, more as we move forward in this video. But right now, it's key to understand just the partings that I'm taking. So diagonal forward on both sides, over directing it to the opposite side. So now I'm working on the left hand side of the mannequin. So I'm over directing it to the right hand side of the mannequin. That's going to give me that soft angle in the fringe. Now, do you have to worry about elevation as much with this cut? When you're doing the stroking technique, elevation doesn't play as much of a role as if I'm cutting blunt lines. But I still want to keep that elevation nice and high. So I take my parting, I over direct it over the forehead, elevate it up just to make it nice and light, get my body position right, and then I'm opening the scissor as I pull away. So we open the scissor out, close the scissor down. So it's just open out, close down. That's the key thing with this cut, is just making sure that you make that connection when you bring the scissor down, then you can create a nice little face frame with it. You could see the pieciness that happens in the face frame. This is a great technique for creating that movement. Now we're gonna move on to the back of the head, uh, and I'm still gonna be using the stroking technique. Everything's coming straight out. This is where we're gonna start to break down the technique and you can watch it in slow motion. So I want you guys to see how I open the scissor up and then I close and cut and bring it back open. Close and cut, bring it back open. I practice that technique. So when I'm sitting there and I'm working on how I want this to connect, I don't necessarily have to have hair in front of me. What I work on is when I lift the hair, I open. When I put my hand down, I close. And I just keep working this technique, practicing it over and over again. Once you have that motion down and you can close down on the, uh, on the hair, then you've got the technique. So really working on it without hair in your hand first uh, works really well. So we'll just go through, we're over directing everything straight back from the head. What this is doing is giving us more of a square feel in the back, which is more of an even base. Um, so just over directing everything back to us, cutting those layers. The other thing I want you to see as we're doing this technique is where I start cutting and where I end in the cut. So I start in the mid shaft and then my hand is sliding away. This is a difference between the front and the back. In the back, I slide away because I'm creating almost like a concave feel to the layers because I'm cutting really short and then getting a lot longer towards the back. So that sliding motion that I'm doing is just keeping length on the bottom. So it starts off nice short textured layers and then gets a little bit longer. So that's a really cool way to, uh, to, to do that, to cut those short layers but keep length. So same thing, you can see I'm over directing everything straight back to me, keeping it nice and square but getting those nice short layers in there. 
So this technique's cool. A lot of people ask, what's the difference between that and um, point cutting? The biggest difference for me is that it gives you even more of a broken line, a broken line that is a little bit harder to achieve if you're going vertically into the hair. So just allowing you to come down, cut the hair and release it. You can also cut more of a structured line with it as well. So I'm using the Vibrastraight iron. What I wanna do and achieve with this is just to show off those pieces that we've created. So I give a little bend to it. Um, to smooth out the ends and you can see that separation and that's all from the stroking technique I haven't done any other cutting on that face frame so working my way through doing the same thing on the opposite side just showing off that face frame now what I'm going to do is I just go through with an inch and a half curling iron and I curl it back off of the face leaving the ends out just a little bit um, I like that look uh, it gives it more of a textured feel, more of a beachy feel. So I go through, just curl it off of the face. Then what I'm gonna do is just run my hands into it. Again, also on the top, curling it off the face. And then as I run my hands through it, it'll break up those curls a little bit and give me my finished style. couple more pieces. When I went through, I curled everything off of the face, but then just to go back through and give it a little detail, after I run my hands through it, then I'll run through and just see if there's any other pieces that I wanna add a little bit of wave to or a little curl, and then, then we get our end result. So there is all the textured layers that we created in the back. I think it's really cool for you guys to be able to see that visually. And then you can see that face frame when it's off of the face like that. Just a really cool look. So hope you guys find this uh, technique useful in the salon. I believe that it's a, a technique that you can use on your guests all the time. And it has a great result. Hope you guys like it. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you think. Also, uh, make sure that you check out our freesaloneducation.com website. We have over 600 education videos and counting on there. There. And also use the code MattBeckVlog at checkout and you can get uh, scissors like the Mizutani Puffin and all these different tools that we use at 20% off. Um, so definitely check that out as well. And don't forget to sign up for our FSE partner program. That is free. It's on fseondemand.com. You can watch all of our videos, download different things, head sheets, all different stuff. So go check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. Thanks.